Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you for joining me again today. Thank you so much for always coming back to this channel. Thank you. God bless you. And if this is your first time here, you're welcome. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. The Lord has a word for us today. And today's word is for every one of us. I believe today's word is for every one of us. So if you're watching this video right now, I want you to know that God has led you to this video because he wants you to hear this word. He wants you to hear what he's saying. This is for you. Today, the Lord gave us an instruction. He's asking us to do something. And that is because something is coming. Something is about to happen. And God wants to get us ready. He wants us to do something. Praise God. Before I go into the word, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. This is the day that you have made. And we are rejoicing in it. Thank you for this day. Thank you for your word. You love us so much to the extent that you send us your word. Lord, receive all thanks and praise, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Father, have mercy on us. Everywhere we've sinned against you, whether knowingly or unknowingly, please forgive us. Have mercy on us. Every sin in our lives that is capable of hindering your word today, hindering us from hearing you, hindering us from hearing you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us in Jesus' name. Lord, use me today. I surrender myself to you. Use me as a vessel. Speak through me to your people. Father, cause them to hear your voice speaking to them directly, speaking to their needs. They will not hear me speak in the name of Jesus. And I will not speak of my own, but I will say your words to your people in the name of Jesus. I declare this day that words of grace stream from my mouth in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Like I said, God has a word for us, an instruction that he wants us to do. He wants us to carry out this instruction today. Praise God. Before I share the actual word, I'd like to say something. I am very inquisitive, very, very inquisitive. I like to ask questions. I ask a lot of questions and that is not because I want to be rude or disrespectful or asking questions for the sake of asking questions, but I ask questions for the purpose of knowing, for the purpose of understanding, so sometimes when God gives me words, I ask him questions. I ask him why. I ask him, why are you saying this or why not this? Just so that I can understand the word very well. And there are some times that God will give me words and I would not bother to ask questions. Even if it doesn't make sense to me, even if the word does not make sense, even if I don't understand it, I don't bother. Today is one of those days that I don't ask questions. While I was seeking him today to know what he had for us, to know what he wanted us to share with us today, I heard the Lord say, he gave me an instruction and I heard him say, eat Holy Communion today. The Lord said to me, eat Holy Communion today. I didn't bother to ask him questions because I know the significance 
of Holy Communion. And I just knew that he said that because something is about to happen. I am so excited. Something is about to happen. And God is trying to get us ready. God is preparing us for what is about to happen. For those of you who don't know what Holy Communion is, I'm going to read from my laptop. Holy Communion, also known as the Lord's Supper, is a Christian sacrament that commemorates Jesus Christ's last supper with his disciples. As it says in Matthew 26, verses 26 through 28, it says, While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. This is what Jesus did with his disciples. And he gave a decree, gave a command that we should continue to do this. And this is what God wants us to do today. God wants us to eat Holy Communion. And for those of you that may already know what Holy Communion is, but you don't know its significance. The Lord has done so many things in my life as a result of Holy Communion. Praise God. Something is about to happen. Some of you are about to receive massive breakthroughs. Some of you, deliverance. You know, when God gave me the word this morning, after I had my money devotion, I went ahead and had my own communion. And something happened. Something happened almost immediately in my body. It was, a, it was physical. I know God is not done with it. I know there's still more that he wants to do. So I'm going to hold it there and let him finish his work. And then I will come back to share with you what happened. I will come back to share the testimony. I know God is not done. He's still working. He's still doing more. So I want you to be obedient. I want you to be obedient. Do not ask questions. Don't ask questions that God, why? What, what do you want to do? He wants to do something. He wants to do something in your life. And all you need to do is obedience. Like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, obedience is key to receiving from the Lord. It says in Deuteronomy chapter 28, I'm going to read a few verses from the scripture. Blessings for obedience. Sometimes God will give us instructions and it will not make sense. You just need to obey. You need to obey. Deuteronomy 28, reading from verse 1, it says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully keep all his commands, just like the one he gave us this morning. That is a command. That is an instruction. You don't need to understand it. It doesn't need to make sense to you. But the Bible says that if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully keep all his commands that I'm giving you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of all the world. You will experience all those things if you obey the Lord your God. So many other things are listed in the script in the same chapter. The rewards for obedience. I know it. I'm very certain. I'm very sure that God is about to do something in your life. I don't know what it is. And I know there's going to be different things for different people. 
or something is about to burst forth. A breakthrough is about to happen. Healing is about to happen. Deliverance is about to happen. Something is about to break. Something is about to snap. And all you need to do is to be obedient. Praise God. I want to read, I want to read verse 7 of the same chapter. The Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you. They will attack you from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven. The Lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do and will fill your storehouses with grain. The Lord, your God, will bless you in the land he's given you. If you obey the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his way, the Lord will establish you as his holy people. These are just few things, few things that will happen when you obey, when you are obedient to the Lord. Praise God. I would also like to mention that you don't need to have the actual Holy Communion element. You don't need it. If you have it, it's fine. You can use anything in your house. You can use bread, biscuits, water, juice. Just make sure it's not alcoholic. Juice, wine, red wine. You can use any of those things. It doesn't have to be the actual element. Praise God. And the Lord will honor you. The Lord will honor your obedience. The Lord will reward your obedience. If you have other people in your house, if you have other people living with you, encourage them to also partake of the Holy Communion. Give it to them. Share it with them. Encourage them so that the blessings, so that the reward, so that the breakthrough can go around. Praise God. I don't know what is about to happen in your life, but I do know that something good, something great, something miraculous is about to happen. Something is about to break free. And I just want to pray again today over you. For as many of you, for as many of you that will obey this instruction and do what God is asking you to do in the name of Jesus, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, you will carry your miracle. You will receive your breakthrough. You will receive your own testimonies. You will not do it in vain. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will reward you greatly for your obedience in the name of Jesus. And I pray the protection of the Lord over you, the protection, the healing, the deliverance of the Lord in the name of Jesus over your body, over your family, over everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus. Nothing will be missing. Nothing will be broken. Nothing will be lacking. Nothing will be damaged in the name of Jesus. From today, breakthrough upon breakthrough, miracles upon miracles, deliverance is happening in your life right now, in your body. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. I heard the Lord say deliverance, deliverance deliverance from, from whatever that is holding you down, from whatever in your life that is not of God. In the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, as many of your children that will be doing this, that will be carrying out this instruction that you have given us. I pray that you will honor them. You will honor your word in their life in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I'm thanking you in advance for the many miracles that will happen as a result of this word, as a result of these instructions that you've given to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the testimonies that are, that are about to burst forth in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I love you.
and I'm praying for you. God bless you.